Dad, someone asked me about something called thermodynamic length. I've never heard of it. Is it even a real thing? Oh, it's real. But it's not a typical classroom topic. Thermodynamic length is a geometric way to measure how far a thermodynamic process moves through state space. Think of it like measuring distance, but in terms of entropy and internal energy. So it's not about physical distance, but how a system changes internally. Exactly! Imagine every thermodynamic state as a point in a multidimensional space with coordinates like temperature, pressure, and entropy. Thermodynamic length is the path length through that space when a system moves from one state to another. What's the point of calculating it? It tells you something powerful. The longer the thermodynamic length, the more irreversible, and thus less efficient, the process likely is. In fact, there's a lower bound on dissipation tied to this length. So engineers could use this to design more efficient cycles? That's the idea. It's especially useful in finite time thermodynamics, when systems operate in real time and not at idealized infinitely slow speeds. So if I'm designing a heat engine or a battery system, this could help minimize wasted energy? Bingo. It's like using geometry to tune your energy losses. Wild, right? 